Hello everyone, Ali here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Ali's Treasure Trove. Today we do have a new episode of Ali's Editions and I'm going to be unboxing my Funko Shop order of the New York Comic Con exclusives shared with the Funko Shop. So I was actually surprised that I managed to get everything I wanted via the Funko Shop. In previous years, I've had to like go get from Hot Topic, get from Amazon, get from Target, get from wherever. But I actually went on to the Funko shop at 9 a.m. Eastern a couple weeks ago. I believe it was like a Thursday morning or so that they went up. I'd forgotten. And then I woke up and I saw other people had them from like in person. And I was like, oops, it was like 8.53. I had seven minutes to figure out what I was going to do. But I did manage to get them all via the Funko shop. I thought I was going to have to go different places. But I guess Funko did have a limited amount of ones. Like I believe one of them in here was supposed to be a Target, Amazon, books a million even, but yeah, I managed to get them all from the Funko shop, but I've seen some people online receive some boxes in not great condition. So I thought it'd be best for me to go ahead and open it in some sort of recording format. And I figured it'd be a fun video just to show you guys what I picked up and, you know, check out what I have. New Funko Pops, which I really feel like I need to chill out with them. But that's a problem for future alleys. So I'm, you know, they're not that big, but when you get, you know, they you get a pile that sneaks up on you and then you're like, man, I have too many Funko Pops. And then you just, you just keep buying more. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and unbox this here giant package. It's in pretty good condition aside from a bit of a crinkle right here, but, uh, we'll see. I'll leave, I'll leave both windows open. I think, can I unbox you? That won't really do much. So let me actually go ahead and cut this open from the top. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. See how everything's packaged. I have never before, fingers crossed, knock on wood, that this isn't the first time it happens, but I've never actually received anything from the Funko Shop damaged. Uh, so I was surprised to see some people not, not happy with how everything was packaged. But I took off a piece of paper there and then... This is interesting. All right, put that there. Okay. I'm not sure why these are so big. I was expecting them to be shipped like this inside the shipper. All right, so one of them was, and then I've actually picked up a pre-order in something like this from GameStop. So I've seen this design before. I've seen the, the shipper box design. Uh, typically get stuff if you order online from Hot Topic like that. Sometimes Amazon will leave them in the, the shippers, but I don't know why these are so big. But anyways, I do have the... Interesting. So <laughs> the code word for this one, Star Wars Pop 39 uh, Munich. <laughs> this should be the Attack of the Clones Anakin here. This one, I can see his little dorky face. This will be the Rubik's Cube, which my dad has solved Rubik's Cubes. I have never... I've tried, you know, I feel like everyone's tried a Rubik's Cube for a little bit, and then the people that are really dedicated continue, and then everyone else just like, huh, interesting. Put that on a shelf. <laughs> Move along with my life. But all right, so these so far are so good. So far is so good. Oh, I don't know if they're PSA 10s, because that's the thing now, PSA grades. But I will say, when I was at the National, PSA did reveal their first, like, graded Funko Pops and whatnot. And I was looking, I was looking at the ones they had on display, and there's, like, you know, like, it's some nines, and I was like... Call that a nine? I would leave that on the shelf. That's kind of garbage. So I was I was very surprised. So I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious what their grading scale is for the boxes because I did not agree. So, anyways, uh, sure, their PSA tens. <laughs> but all right, I'm curious. I thought I had five. I'm trying to like think back to what I ordered. I thought there were five. So I'm curious as to why there's just things. So without spoiling anything. Maybe it's just four. Maybe it's just four. Maybe I am not uh, all there at the moment. All right, let's let's pop this open. Ah, pop. Let's uh, let's swap views. I think we can. I think we can swap now that we've extracted everything from the giant box. I'm gonna put you guys behind. It's like we know who is what there. Uh, I don't know who is what here. So, also not quite sure how to open this. Oh, okay. So there's. I'm confused. You look like you should be like two pack sized. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay, okay. I forgot. There's six. There's 
I forgot that there's actually, there should be six pops. So this makes more sense. Okay, 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 okay. I forgot about the Harry Potter ones. So we do have, and I'm curious to see, some people have also gotten the actual New York City uh, Comic-Con stickers instead of the fall convention shared sticker. So we'll see. So I do have Harry Potter with the Basilisk Fang. Uh, I have so many Harry Potter ones. My mom has a ton of Harry Potter ones as well. I had taken a break actually from buying Harry Potter ones, but I still tend to get the exclusive ones that I like. <clears throat> The commons, I feel like at this point, it's like, yes, I understand we need regular outfit Hermione from Prisoner Azkaban, and then we need her in the pink t-shirt, and we need this and that. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't need to buy those. One second. Where is my... Hermione heard me talking uh, smack and hexed me. <laughs> oh, allergies. I don't know why. I was fine. I recorded earlier today the Middle Earth unboxing over for the Titan Cards channel. And I was fine with that. And then I was waiting for the export and process and upload and like looking at the first comments and whatnot before I started recording here. And I just, I died in between recording videos. I don't know why. I was just like, eh, eh, eh. so yeah. But yeah, I've kind of fallen back to back to what we were talking about. I've kind of fallen off buying the Harry Potter ones, but I thought this one was neat with the little basilisk. It was cool. I like it. I like that one. I thought he was cool. I'm excited for since I said I forgot about the Harry Potter ones. I'm excited for the Neville being carried away by the Cornish Pixies. I thought that one was great, and I was like, Harry's cool too. You know, I'll just add him to the card as well. So he was just kind of like, yeah, sure, I'll take the Harry. Honestly, though, I don't if. Like, he's cool, but if I had to, like, go to a different website to buy it, I would probably have not done that and be like, oh, if I find it in person, I'll buy it. If not, I won't, like, miss it that much. So he's cool. He's cool. I, you know, but I have, a, I have a lot of other Harrys. So this Groot, you know, I've been trying to stay away from little Groots. Because <sighs> yeah, I have too many Groot Pops, but, like, he's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's wearing like mushroom pajamas. Oh, uh, so I was like, all right, I got to get the little Groot. So I am Groot. I've only actually watched one of the shorts. I watched the first one and I was like, man, Groot is very aggressive. <laughs> he was not what I was expecting. And I have to watch the other one. So I haven't even seen this full series. I know they're probably like, what, a total of like 15 minutes if I watched all of them. Just haven't done that. But he is super cute. He is super cute. Big, I, big, big baby Groot fan. He's so adorable. I actually have all of the other baby Groots that are not in the I Am Groot series. Uh, yeah, so I have quite the large Groot collection. I was like, I need to draw the line somewhere, but not when I can add everything to cart on one website. So super cute. I actually saw him in store at Target today. I was like, oh, I was surprised. So looks like for those of you, if you missed out on grabbing the little baby Groot, uh, you might have a chance to find one in store. I was surprised. I'm not used to seeing exclusives really for Target in store. Uh, I was surprised, especially con exclusives. So that was neat to see. So, all right, two down. I should have two more in here. So I know which one should be in here, whether they are actually inside or not. We'll find out since we can't uh, sneak a peek for the packaging. That's one of the things that's like, oh, what if the, like my order's wrong? I don't even know what's still on the Funko website to be able to switch things out. But we do have regular stickers again. Oh, no. Oh. All right, that's interesting. Uh, but anyway, so the regular shared stickers here, as expected, do have the Neville here. Neville being abducted by the Cornish Pixies. Now, if you guys checked out the last video with Funko Pops that I had here on the channel, which it was just my Megacon like recap video, I did have my older Neville common signed by Matthew Lewis himself. And as soon as I saw this one like teased, um, I was like, Man, I wish I had had this one several months ago. Of course, it, it didn't exist several months ago, but I just, this one would look so much cooler. So if I'm ever back at MegaCon Orlando, because Matthew Lewis tends to go there many, many times. He's been there many times. I just managed to get him for the first time this past year. But this, I feel like, would look good with, like, a dark blue pen. A nice, nice signature. So <laughs> poor Neville, man. I, poor Neville. But this one, this one, this one is a great Harry Potter pop. Just that will be carried away by the Cornish Pixies. Like, that's just great. Love stuff like that. Why I was crying when I opened up the box here, because my Borat has a hole in it. I, 
And that's what I get for buying Borat when I've never seen Borat. It's on my to-do list, okay? But I know Borat memes, and I like Borat memes. We go to America! <laughs> so he has the little flag! So I thought I thought this would be fun. That's too bad about the uh, the box there. That is... Uh, I don't even know what to do about that. Like, can I email them? Are they just gonna be like, is your Funko Pop in one piece? Yes. Then why are you complaining? And probably... Uh, interesting <laughs> i've never seen something like that before it's crazy to me because like uh, there are i'm seeing some scratches on the box to be honest uh i've seen some scratches on a few of them which i was a little surprised like sharp corners and everything but like the actual like seeing like random indents and like scratches on the boxes i'm like that's a little odd but i've never seen something like this before like it is in such good shape. Like, I've seen windows have damages because the rest of the box, like, it got stomped on a corner or something like that. But, like, pretty pristine except for just the cracked window is odd. I haven't seen that before. So, you know, it gives it character. It gives Borat character. So, <laughs> but I thought this would be funny. And I was like, I remember I, I showed my mom when I picked up. She's like, you actually bought the Borat. Because when it was announced, I was like, I, I want this. She's like, why? You've never seen Borat. And I'm like... Wah wah wee wah. <laughs> Why not? I thought it was funny. So we have Borat too. So yes, I did have six. I forgot. I somehow forgot about the Harry Potter ones. I was like, I think there's four. Why are they shaped like this? No, that's just Allie forgot. But all right, we have the we have uh, the capital of Germany here. Not not even. We do have the Anakin, which was going to be shared with Amazon. But I'm much happier that I was able to deal with the Funko Shop than on Amazon. I recently got in the VHS cover Winnie the Pooh in a box that was like this big. With no packing material whatsoever. I don't understand. The box is in good shape. I don't understand how I was blessed. But it was just <laughs> rattling around in there. There is literally no packing material. The box is probably the size of this playmat. And you know, like, yes, the, uh, the album covers, the VHS covers, all those things, they're pretty large, but not this large, not this large. So I was surprised it was fine. But when, Ana when it was said, Anakin's going to Amazon, I'm like, oh, no. So let's see. Do you have any like holes? No, you don't have any holes. All right, good. I really like this. Ooh, I like this design on the back too. This box feels like extra thick and sturdy, so that's cool. So Attack of the Clones, my favorite Star Wars movie, as you guys know. Uh, I would like to have this signed by Hayden Christensen. I have always wondered, like, why don't we have more prequel Funko Pops? They feel like they look so cool. I feel mainly we're getting, obviously, Funko was really on the up and up when the sequel trilogy came out, so that makes sense. That makes sense. But I was, I'm like, why do we not have more prequel ones? Like, we have, we have a few, a lot of them are con exclusives, not just, like, a general wave. I guess we really haven't had any anniversaries. Well, this year would be 20 years of Attack the Clones. But it's also, like, overall, like, what, 50 years? So, it's more, that's a better anniversary to celebrate than just prequel celebration, but... I want more. Like, we have just that, the one Padme that was the Emerald City Comic Con, and we have the one Padme that was Amazon exclusive. The Queen Amidala is ancient. I've never found one in, like, pristine condition, so. But, you know, I just wish we had more prequel ones. So, you know what? If there, as long as I get them, I suppose, being con exclusives instead of regular waves, like, it spaces is out for me. I mean, I can't go infinite on prequel pops if they, they're few and far between. So, I guess it works out in my favor, technically. Not emotionally, but financially. But I really like this one. This one, I would say, overall, is my favorite. Uh, release here. I will say the the leak for New York Comic Con uh, apparently incorrect, but people think that oh, it's for winter. I'm like, what is the winter con? But I was hoping that we'd see, because there had been rumored to be an Ukura from Bleach Funko Pop. Uh, I was really excited about that. And then when they revealed all the New York Comic Con ones, I'm like, oh, these are so good. These are so good. I can't wait for them to show the Ukura. And then the Ukura never came out. I was like, what? Uh, but now it's on the, the leak list for winter I, I don't even know what con that is but you know I'll, I'll grab it i'll grab it if uh if it pops up but anyways on to something that i would have never expected to ever want i would have never thought that like yes let's make this into a funko pop sure but i saw it it was the first one first announcement that i had seen i think there might have been a few earlier that funko post on instagram but the first one i saw i opened up instagram and i saw i saw 
the Rubik's Cube. And I'm like, he is so cute. I need it. But Allie, you've never beaten a Rubik's Cube. Allie, you don't even care about Rubik's Cubes. But he's cute, though. <laughs> Look at him! He's so happy. I don't like Funko Pops with mouths, which is why I'm surprised that I like the Rubik's Cube. Now, looking, of course, group Baby Group has... Group? Groot? Baby Groot has a mouth. And I'm thinking... The only Funko Pops that I have with mouths are the Baby Groots and now the Rubik's Cube. Like the ones, I just feel like they look weird. I'm so used to Funko Pops not having mouths that when they started doing them for like some of the rocks, like the Britney Spears' lips and the Billy Idol looks like... Oh. Uh, he's doing that. And it's like, it's look weird. I don't like it. I don't like it with mouths. And then sometimes it just works. Like it, it... I feel like because this would just look very odd without a mouth. He would be cute, but I would be like, what are the dots? It would, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd realize that those are eyes at first. I would just think that's a weird looking Rubik's Cube. So I guess it makes sense as a mouth, but he looks so happy. He looks like he's, he's ready to go to school. I like, I want to buy him a school supply set and a tiny backpack and like raise this child. So he's really cute. So yeah, that's why I got the little Rubik's Cube. And this was at Books A Million. I was like, man, that's going to be a pain in the behind to grab because I have never been able to order anything off the Books A Million website. And there are no Books A Millions in Pinellas County. At least that I know of. I actually went to one over the weekends after the, the Rock and uh, Gem show for the Tampa Bay Mineral Society. Uh, was at the Florida State Fairground. So I was like, I'm already almost there. So I went up to the Brandon Mall and I found a bunch of books and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. So there's a Lego store up there too. So like, it's always an excursion to go up to Westfield Brandon, but like, I love going to the books a million because they just have a giant manga section. They didn't have any of these in store. They didn't have actually too many Funko Pops, uh, but, but yeah, so I was happy I was able to get him from the Funko shop. Cause I was like, yeah, I don't know how I'm actually going to be able to get you. That website is horrible. The, the books a million website's bad. Yeah. It, it's not easy. It's not easy to deal with. Uh, I would say it's... I, I, Neville was supposed to, I think, go to Walmart. I expected to not get him at all. I'm happy that I just saw a post. It's actually, I think, Funko Finders on Instagram. I was like, hey, everybody, everything's up on the Funko shop. I was like, oh, okay. I, I had the, I should have. I should have. He was still in stock. I didn't do it because I just wanted to get what I wanted instead of, you know, being one of those people. But I could have bought the uh, the Luffy with the Going Mary. I mean, like, I, I don't dislike One Piece. I just also don't particularly care. And I was like, that looks cool, but not cool enough for me to buy it. But I, I should have bought it. But anyways, I'm happy with my haul here. I am just super confused, but I also find it funny that, of course, the Borat just has a hole in it. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think the Funko shop will, will care. They're going to be like, is it broken? Be like, no, but the, the, the back, the box is damaged. They'll be like, shut up. <laughs> but if anyone has ever seen a Funko Pop like this before, let me know. I'm happy everything came in in relatively good shape. Like I said, there's some of the boxes have like weird dents, but... I would have I would have been crying about these dents like five years ago. I I have I've stopped caring, but I see them. PSA ten. <laughs> Anyways, that wraps off today's video. I'm very sassy, very sassy. It's because my hair actually looks nice today. Of course, as soon as I mentioned on Sunday in the Final Fantasy episode, I'm like I'm tired of it. I'm cutting it, and then it's like, oh, don't cut me, mom. I'm behaving. You're like, no, shut up, hair. I know you're fake. I know you're not gonna last like this. So, but hopefully once I cut my hair shorter, it'll actually behave like this every day instead of like once a month. So I have to use like this much product in my hair to like have it kind of look like this. So anyways, though, that does wrap off today's video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed checking out my New York Comic Con pickups. Didn't happen to get any of the ones that had the con sticker instead of the shared sticker. Uh, but I do, I do like these. I, I'm surprised that I managed to get through the Funko shop. Now I've had some luck historically. I, I got, I honestly, part of history, part of r slash Funko pop history, uh, that Funko B was out of town 
And I really, I really like their sassiness and how much like they love Funko Pops, but they also hate them at the same time. So I offered to get them the uh, Ren and Stimpy two pack. And I managed to get that off the Funko shop. I had the original Freddy as Lady Liberty in my cart. And I never got the check out, but I've got, you know, like I have the Loki with the Tesseract. My mom has the Jeter. Um, I have some pretty cool Funko shop exclusives. I got the Speedy Gonzalez from my mom back in the day. Uh, I had gotten the uh, Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy that didn't get destroyed in transit. And I had those at one point and I sold them when they were like $60. And I also had the original Tony the Tiger that I, I jumped out of that at 400 So, you know what I mean? I just buy random stuff that I like. And then sometimes I'm like, why do I have random cereal themed Funko Pops? You know, and then I got rid of them. And then now I'm like, oh my God, it's a little Rubik's Cube. I am someone that like, I like stuff. I like stuff. And then sometimes I just move on. I'm like, yeah, I like this, but why did I buy it? I like it, but why, why do I own this? It has been hard. I need to really go through and kind of trim down a bit. But I, I feel like that's also a natural part of collecting. It's as I've gotten older, as I'm approaching 25, Miss, Miss Quarter Century over here, uh, I'm like, you know, it, it's fine to like stuff and it's fine to move through things. I've always been hesitant. I don't like getting rid of stuff because I feel like, well, if I'm just going to get rid of it, why did I buy it in the first place? But you know what I mean? It's like, I still like it. It's just, you know, like enough to keep for the rest of my life. Maybe not. I enjoyed it while I had it. And it's still sometimes out with the old and with the new and then the new, it's like, you know, a couple months down the road, it's like, Allie, why do you have a Rubik's cube? Be like, Shh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like when I had everything in my cart, I'm like, is this a good idea? And I'm like, I don't care. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> now I have a bore out with a hole in it. I have the best Neville pop ever created. Like, this is great. I love it. I will say though, I, re I like, I like signed Funko pops. I like them. I like them a lot. You guys know I have a few here. I just, you know, they're, they're really cool surface and I like them for that. More, much better than like signed black series. And what I think it's cause these are the shape. They're very stackable. They're very, they're very easy to Jenga. Uh, but yeah, I do like Funko pops, but I'm always, I'm always, Always having the thought to retool my collection. I think I might officially do that, though. Uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, I'm running out of space. Even though I have my storage unit. I'm putting stuff in the storage unit and seeing how much stuff I really have. And then how much stuff is already in the unit. And I'm like, oh, there's a lot of stuff. So, But anyways, before I got off on this tangent, I was trying to wrap off the video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So if you did enjoy checking out these new New York Comic Con pickups with me, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. Which was your favorite of these six that I picked up? Do you like the Anakin, the Borat, the Groot, the Rubik's Cube, Neville, or Harry? Let me know. Like I said, I think my favorite is the Anakin, and then the Neville, and then the Rubik's Cube. Because I really like the Neville. I just, when I think of these, I think honestly of these two, but I really, really like the Neville sculpt. Like, I think that's super cool. This one's just fun. The Harry look cool. Groot, I have very little self-control when it comes to Groot. So seeing there in front of me, even though I was like, I'm not buying Groots anymore. I'm not buying Groots anymore. $15? Add to cart. So I like the Groot though. I like the Groot. I just, oh man, there's too many Groots. There's too many. It's hard to resist, you know, Comic-Con exclusive. What if I change my mind and I want it? It's going to be hard to find. So, but I know I've been down this road before with Funko Pops. I'm surprised that it was this easy for me to get con stuff. I didn't have to go anywhere and wait in line for three hours. I didn't have to do anything. I just woke up the day of, forgot that they were going live, Googled, how do I get uh, re uh, Funko Pops in New York Comic-Con, found an article that said which websites they were on and had the links. And then I opened up Instagram and then they were just all in the Funko shop. That was easy. It was, it was, it was so much easier than it used to be. So, so hopefully whatever that winter con, whatever, whatever that is, if the Okior is there, hopefully the Okior is not as expensive as the Luffy with the going Mary. <laughs> We'll see. But yeah, that does wrap off this video here. So I already said like and subscribe and all that jazz. Comments, leave those down below. Let me know your favorites. But before I get on out of here, I also have to give an extra special shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. 
Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your supports. I really, truly do appreciate it. We have 14 gemstone miners. Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, David Mounts, George Burr, Jack Perez, Keith Muna, Mako, Rebecca F., Rees, Sarah Charles, Sebastian Morency, Shannon Hoon 74, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Ply. We also do have two crystal collectors, Anthony Ruiz and Joe Vaughn. But thank you so much again, though, to all of my patrons. No matter which tier you're on, I really appreciate your above and beyond supports. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. But with that, that does wrap off everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me as we unearth some more treasures in the next video. Bye! You guys believe I forgot my own outro? Bad content.